gold and silver both have seen a good rise good bullishness has been seen but most important to note that as we discussed in the analysis that beyond 1961 it is going to be 1975 levels then 1965 levels it is going to be 1975 and then in 1985 levels precisely gold failed to break past 1975 and it has retraced at the same time silver most specifically has got the resistance at 2360 many a times i have told you 2340 2360 is a very very good resistance zone and it is precisely trading in the same zone right now so what to expect today which position you should take in order to profit trading gold and silver we will see with the help of charts and indicators do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon this is the first update for the day the next update will be released before the us session to watch that also let's start first we'll look into gold followed with silver do watch till the end now what is happening to gold here on the early charts you can see this higher lows higher highs again the bottom of this channel now at 1960 and hence if you see it trading below 1958 i will recommend you to sell but then remember my favorite 1954 levels only and only if it trades below 1954 there is going to be bearishness else it can try to bounce back remember it is trading in a bullish channel as of now what it is trying to do coming back to the 20 period moving average the price is diverged here from the moving average it is converged here now taking the support at best it may try to come back to this zone which is at 1958 60 and hence that is why i say till 1954 those who wants to trade safe do not take any position till 1954 levels only below 1954 you can expect a drop yes below that it is going to drop heavily on the downside that is the first part second part stochastic has dropped macd is divergent and bearish it is looking downwards and rsi is also sloping downwards it is uh, having a negative slope or a bearish bias now if you look at the early charts you will find see the resistance seen here at 68 70 levels and hence if you see it trading above 70 that is the level beyond which you can buy now see 60 levels pre previously which were the uh, support levels here you can see this which was the resistance level here it has breached the support resistance and has seen a rally now these levels are going to be the support levels so i will definitely be watchful and cautious of this zone between 1954 and 60 this is going to be an extremely important zone for gold breaking below which only bearishness is confirmed here now also look at uh, another important point on the early charts is the macd which is divergent bearish it is looking downwards it can stretch the drop for a little while if you look at the two hour charts on the two hour charts too you can find out see the break there bullish bias bullish channel trading in this uh, 1960 54 very very good supports and on the upside above 70 again you can this time you can look at 280 85 levels which is the next strongest resistance remember 1985 if it if it's taken then certainly more bullishness may prevail here now also if you look at the 20 50 period moving average have crossed over here the more 20 and 100 period are on the verge of a crossover which also makes this zone very very important and very very critical if you look at a stochastic this has dropped magdi is on the verge of a crossover for a sell and see this is happening after a long streak possibly we will wait if it crosses over traded with divergence trades with divergence we can see more bearishness here rsi looking down and if you look at three hour chart now see on the three hour chart the 20 and 50 period crossover the price is trading in this channel this is a bullish channel support here at 1960 very very strong and until 1954 it has got tremendous support below that more bearishness but till 1950 and 40 levels do not consider this as bearish below 1940 we can see a sharper meltdown on the downside right now if you look at what it is trying to do it is trying to consolidate here look at this it is just trying to consolidate a bit i will wait for 1960-1955 levels a stochastic flat macd is still bullish it is trying to converge it has not yet crossed over rsi almost flat and if you look at the four hour charts now look at four hour charts here on the four hour charts see there is a you can see lower lows higher highs at the same time if you look at see lower highs lower lows so support there till 60 and 55 levels you can definitely see also if you look at higher lows are seen here which is creating this at the bottom of the channel now moving averages have started to converge this is a good sign for the bulls if you look at the stochastic this is looking down the macd is bullish and it is trying to converge a bit rsi almost trading flat and if you look at the daily charts now look at the daily charts couple of observations here to make see it is a uh, bottom here try to reverse first bullish candle 
then see the bullishness here has certainly diminished what you can make out of this the body size is less than complete candle size which is indicative that the bulls the prices are not willing to stay bullish at the same time you can see there is a crossover between the 20 and 50 period moving average this is a bearish cross this is a bearish cross which is not a good sign and this is happening after a after price is staying bullish for a while and hence we have to just wait and if it continues to diverge today's candle is going to decide possibly we may see little more bearishness in gold for now onwards this is the zone where we are going to see maximum resistance at 1975 80 levels till 85 maximum resistance is there and only and only if it trades above 85 we can say that it is turning bullish now if you look at gold on the daily charts you'll find this is the bullish channel in which it is trying to trade precisely from the bottom of the channel it is trying to retrace how far it could retrace that is what you need to look at also if you look at it was trading in this bearish channel it has come out of the channel hence above 1970 you can expect a rise but then 1975 80 85 till 85 do not consider this as a reversal beyond 85 we can expect gold to hit 2000 levels the stock ISD is rising MACD trying to converge crossover it is still in the red zone and this is the second crossover possibly it can try to bring little bullishness there RSI almost flat considering this I will recommend you to buy at 70 and expect 75 80 80 85 zone very very good resistance there and on the downside you can sell here at uh, 1960 levels but then be cautious there there is very good support at 58 54 levels these two levels rather i'll say 57 54 levels these this zone between 54 to 57 58 is very very important here you are going to get the maximum support for gold and hence any draw below 54 is something where you can expect the bears to prevail take your trades accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a tailing stop loss and those who want to learn this art of trading profitably should join my mentorship batch 22 the 22nd batch starts on 5th of june only couple of seats are available reach out to me for more details my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description also you can join my signals group we are trading as per the signals definitely you can benefit now let's have a look at silver now silver on the early chart see the moving average is divergent the price is diverged Jink from the moving average one thing can happen moving average moved upwards second thing is prices remain in this zone which means that there is going to be greater support now between 2340 2340 which was the resistance earlier now going to be the support and 2360 is indeed a resistance and we have discussed this in last several videos that we talk about that 234060 zone is something you should watch out for now look at early charts see the sharp rise there it is still consolidating here a breakout either which ways may bring little bearishness and hence you can sell here at 2350 itself but then 2345 40 is the support and below 40 we may see silver breaking sharply see the movie prices have diverged strongly hence a little convergent till here cannot be denied a stock stick looking down MACD is on the verge of a crossover this is a bearish cross here it has just crossed over but divergence is very minimal RSI uh, almost flat trying to trade with a slight bullish bias now look at two hour charts the prices are divergent from the moving average there should be a little conversion before it looks forward to any upward move right now it is trying to consolidate forming a flag any breakout beyond 2360 and rather i will say 2365 on the buy side you can expect it to rise more this time silver is staying above 2365 you can expect 2380 24 24 20 levels also can be expected remember i will show you why on the daily channel the daily charts now look at the two hour charts more closely you'll find higher highs at the same time see right now the bullishness getting diminished here hence a breakout about 2380s should bring extreme bullishness there for silver the stock i stick looking down macd is still bullish divergent rsi almost near trading near to the top near to the overbought zone look at the three hour charts on the three hour charts likewise higher lows lower highs uh flat bottom there willing for a breakout if it stays above 236065 june just stay long you can expect silver this time to give 2380 and plus plus levels but what has happened here see the drop consolidation the rally here and now it is trying to consolidate a bit and wait for the next breakout it may try to trade between 234060 zone you can enjoy your profits there 
Stochastic is overbought, MACD divergent and bullish, but candle size is flattened here. RSI very near to the top, very near to the overbought levels. Now look at 4 hour charts. On the 4 hour charts, one important point is the moving average is converging here. This is a bullish sign for silver. Also, if you look at this is trying to trade in this bullish channel, you can clearly see higher lows, higher highs and possibly 2370, 2380 zone. It may try to attempt and achieve if it stays above 2360, 65 zone. Now, what could happen here is one more possibility that the lower end of this channel, if you look at the lower end of this channel is now situated at 2330 levels. Hence, yes, if it, you see it trading below 2350, you can sell, expect 2340 levels and then 2330 levels. Achieving those levels also, it can bounce back strongly. You need to be watchful of this. Stock IC is certainly overbought, MACD is divergent and bullish, RSI is almost flat and if you look at the daily charts, on the daily charts you can see 100 period moving average giving it a resistance, 2360 definitely a good resistance. Remember after a tail, this is the first bullish candle, there should be or there could be a second bullish candle which might in fact take it till towards 2380 $24 levels. Hence about 2360 one should stay long, one should expect a further rise and this time the candle might be bigger one where you can expect a rise till 2380 $24 levels. Take your trades accordingly, trade with a stop loss, trade with a trailing stop loss. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Join my mentorship badge, join my signals channel. Reach out to me for any of your trading or training queries. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day ahead. Thank you.